learners welcome to cash education in this video we will study about the cointegrate vector a cointegrate vector is used to carry out transformation in plants it is a type of ti plasmid derived vector system taken from agrobacterium a cointegrate vector is formed by the union of two plasmids in a pair that together induce the transfer of a transgene for that to happen, the two individual plasmids must recombine via homologous recombination, ultimately giving the cointegrate vector. Out of the two plasmids that participate in the formation of a cointegrate vector, one is an intermediate plasmid, the other is a disarmed TI plasmid. A disarmed TI plasmid is a type of TI plasmid that does not carry genes for tumor induction. An example is GV3850. This disarmed TI plasmid contains the left border and right border sequences along with the vir genes that will catalyze the transfer. The intermediate plasmid carries the DNA insert along with the neomycin and tanamycin resistant selectable markers. The remaining sequences on the intermediate plasmid are taken from the tDNA region. Apart from the individual regions present on both the plasmids, the two plasmids carry some common sequences which are taken from the PBR322 plasmids. The disarmed TI plasmid is maintained and cultured in agrobacterium cells. The intermediate plasmid is a type of modified E. coli plasmid and therefore it is maintained in E. coli cells. For the process to begin, the intermediate plasmid must be transformed from E. coli into the agrobacterium cells. This then gives rise to the transformed agrobacterium cells that now carry two plasmids or the plasmid pairs. Out of a mix of transformed and untransformed agrobacterium cells, selection has to be made on a selective media containing canamycin. The transformed and untransformed agrobacterium cells are incubated in a media containing canamycin. Only the cells that contain both the plasmids, apart from which the intermediate vector carrying the canamycin resistance gene will be able to grow on this selective media. This is how we make the selection of transformed agrobacterium cells. Now let's zoom in to understand the process of homologous recombination between the two plasmids. The process occurs at the common PBR322 sequences that are placed on both the plasmids. A nick is made in both the plasmids at the PBR322 sequences and they are brought in proximity. This is followed by the invasion of a strand from the intermediate vector into the DNA strand of the disarmed TI plasmid. Later, the two combine and form the cointegrate vector system. Later, we study the process of preparation of single cell suspension of plants. This is done to obtain a single cell suspension which you will use to carry out transformation. The desired plant is taken and an X plant is collected from it. Out of the X plant, a single cell suspension is prepared from it. A transformation medium is taken into which transformed agrobacterium cells are introduced along with single cell of plants. The vir genes that are now present on the cointegrate vector then catalyze the transfer of the entire region that is placed between the left border and right border sequences. This includes the common PBR322 sequences, the DNA insert and the two selectable markers. The transfer takes place with the help of the vir genes and the plant cells undergo transformation. Now from the mix of transformed and untransformed plant cells, to select only the transformed plant cells, again a selective medium is used. This selective media now contains neomycin. The plant cells, all transformed and untransformed, are incorporated into this selective medium containing neomycin antibiotic. Only plant cells that have undergone transformation and carry the neomycin resistant gene 
will be able to survive and grow in this media. The untransformed cells will be destroyed and will not be able to grow. This is how transformation is accomplished in plants using the co-integrate vector system. Each of these transformed plant cells can now give rise to whole plants that will be transformed and carry the characteristics of your gene of interest. That is all for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. See you again next time. Thank you. Learners, welcome.